I'm going to say something that will disturb you, but it is true. Show me a Christian who sincerely loves God with all his heart. Show me a Christian who is serving God sincerely and is still broke. There is something that Christian is not doing well. If it is the God of heaven you are serving, are we together? You love Jesus with all your heart and you are serving him with all your heart genuinely, non-pretentiously. It is impossible to spend your life in financial pain except if you have violated the least as aforementioned. The ignorance of his laws, you have not considered the human factors, you have rejected willfully empowerment by God, you have rejected the help of God. Otherwise, anybody who truly loves Jesus and serves Jesus will eventually, among all the blessings that loving Jesus brings, eventually you will experience and in your lifetime you will taste of financial prosperity. May that be your portion. You can have abundant financial resources without knowing the Lord and without loving the Lord. But the peace, hallelujah, and fulfillment that comes with being financially blessed only on the line only please comes from god this is true that means you can be rich without god many today are rich without god there are billionaires who do not believe in jesus there are millionaires in naira and dollars who do not believe in jesus there are occultic organizations that are worth billions of dollars who are directly antichrist. Do not be surprised when you see unbelievers prosper. Do not be surprised when you see non-believers, people who are vocally resistant to the gospel, prosper. Our world is full of many people who have abundant financial resources. Some of them curse God to the face while they are prospering. However, the peace and fulfillment that comes with money only comes from God. I can tell you that. Proverbs 10, 22. The blessing of the Lord, the Bible says, make it rich. Then it does not stop there. It says, and he added no sorrow with it. That means anybody who prospers, you add something with it. Takes away something with it. There are people who got money at the expense of their conscience. There are people who got money at the expense of their allegiance. You know, you, they had to fraternize with occultic groups. There are people today who have money, but they cannot sleep. They live in mansions, but they sit on chairs all through the night because they cannot find sleep. I can tell you this. There are many wealthy people who live on injections and drugs because they cannot sleep. They are owners of estates celebrated world over, but dying alone. No wonder you have even among the wealthy, people who will start millions and billions in their accounts, write letters and commit suicide. Why should a multi-millionaire, why should a billionaire be committing suicide? You would think with the presence of money, there is, let me tell you this. There are problems that only come to your life because you are rich money solves other problems but the realm of wealth has its own problems and the problems that poor people have money can solve most of it but the problems that rich people have only god can solve it did you hear what i said the problems that poor people have money can usually solve most of it most poor people's problems is how to get uh, how do they say it now to get ends to meet but for a wealthy person, most rich people, their problems is not how to get uh, ends to meet. No. When you have a problem that money cannot solve, you are in trouble. Because you will need God. Most poor people, their problems, I can tell you. And poor here not being an insult, just a description of a state of living. Most poor people, the problems, 90% of a poor man's problem, I can tell you can be solved with finances housing food health care etc but there are people who get to a realm where they have all the money and everybody within their realm also has money at that point what solves money is not what solves their problem is not money again 
so if you be, if you get beguiled by social media and television to believe that just because people are flashing designers driving the most expensive cars living having the most luxurious living and sometimes even believers admire this and they say god but this is what i want now is it that you cannot give me i've had the honor and i say this with every sense of humility i have met billionaires in dollars i have spoken with very wealthy people you do not want to know the problems that wealthy people have for most wealthy people one of their major problems is succession the devil makes sure that most of them have foolish children so by the time the people spend all that money the man has billions but he's crying and bleeding and saying so everything i worked for there is a foolish child waiting for me to die and this child is going to blow up everything and truly the child is waiting for the father to die have you seen billionaires who pass on to glory and in one year their entire estate goes down when you meet very wealthy people you will see some of them their best friends are the cleaners in their houses not the owners of other companies because they live a lonely life they can't share anything to anybody and information that comes from them leaking that information can be equal ten thousand dollars one million dollars everything about their life makes money including their secrets so they can't tell anybody are you learning now they live a very lonely life very lonely life they are everywhere but they are alone their pictures are everywhere but they are alone they wake up in the night inject themselves with all kinds of substances so that they can sleep for three or four hours wealth without god some of them are called james in nigeria they are called john in europe they are called gabriel in dubai in one island they are called another name they have over 10 20 passports depending on where they are because you don't know which government will fight you at any given time so you have to be ready to run away Kai, listen if you ever admire wealth without god may you grow enough to see fast because there are many many people today i hope you know that wealthy people are not angels they are human beings they have problems they have problems solomon got into that state when solomon became wealthy he wisdom made him wealthy but when he became so wealthy he was lonely he tried 700 wives it didn't work 300 concubines it didn't work he said confessing his own sins he said everything my eyes saw do you know that what that means it's one great you know personality who had that problem i don't know what they call it anything he saw he would want to buy it they had to hire a manager to control his appetites true story so you can tell him sir i know you have the money for this but do you need it so they give you three questions to answer before you buy anything because he has gotten to a point where it has manipulated his understanding if he saw anything and did not buy it he could lose sleep there is a medical name for it hello it can affect you because that realm there are some sicknesses that don't affect other people but let me tell you this i'm not insulting you my dear people i'm just trying to tell you this listen that there are problems that only happen when you have money and before you blindly admire people and ignore jesus and say don't worry this man our world is full of people today saying there are people who don't know jesus and yet they are wealthy you don't know the problems satan attacks everybody so what do you think if you are satan wouldn't you design a problem you need to reach people you have seen what he does with poor people what about rich people multiple identities some of those people you see have they cannot sleep peace is one thing money cannot give it can create an environment but here's what jesus said john 14 27 says peace i live with you my peace i give unto you there are other kinds of peace but my peace i give unto you not as the world giveth are you saying that now he said let not your heart be troubled neither let it be afraid ladies and gentlemen you want to start your journey to finances just know that if you come to jesus just because you want to make money you will be disappointed 
because you will see people in your journey who do not respect Jesus. 